Hello all, welcome to this channel CFD Baba. Today we are going to simulate flow inside a lid driven cavity. This is a simple problem and in this problem we have a top wall which is a moving wall. This wall moves in the right side direction that is in the positive x direction. This cavity is filled with a fluid. Since the wall moves in right direction, the fluid which is adjacent to the wall boundaries also moves in the right direction and this creates a recirculation zone inside the cavity. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button and bell icon to get more updates about new open form tutorial videos. We will set up this case from scratch using Salome, OpenFoam and Paraview. These are three open source softwares. Let's start setting up the case using Salome software. We will create our geometry in Salome. I have installed Windows version of Salome software. Click on new document and click on the geometry module button. Here you can see the interface of geometry module of Salome. You can switch on the interaction style switch button so that you can rotate your geometry using the left mouse button. You can scroll in and scroll out to zoom the geometry and you can press the middle mouse button to pan the geometry. We need to create a simple square shaped fluid domain in Salome. To create the fluid domain click on create rectangular face. We are going to simulate a 2D case of lid driven cavity in open foam. We will select the orientation as XY plane and we will select the dimensions of this square as 1 meters by 1 meters. Note that the dimensions used in Salome are SI units that is in meters. Press apply and close. Click on the fit all button to view your geometry. You can see that a square of 1 meter by 1 meter has been created. Now we need to name the boundaries of our fluid domain. Right click on face 1 and click on create group. Here we will use the edge selection filter. Select the top face. Click on add. We will name it as moving wall. Make sure that W is capital. I will tell the reason of capital W after we have exported this geometry. Click on apply. Next select the three other walls. You can multi select the walls by pressing the shift button and selecting the edges of the three walls. Press on add. We can even name them as fixed walls. Make sure that W is capital. Press apply and close. We have the required boundaries to simulate the lid driven cavity case. Now we will mesh this geometry. Click on the mesh module. Select the face one and click on create mesh button. Here we will use the algorithm of NetGen 1D 2D. We will use hypothesis of NetGen 2D parameters. We will select the minimum and maximum size as 0.01 meters. Click on OK. Click on Apply and Close. Right click on Geometry. And now we need to create groups from our geometry. So click on Create Groups from Geometry. Select both the boundary condition names and they will get selected here. Now we just need to click on arrow besides the geometry and they will get selected in elements as well as nodes. Click on apply and close. Our groups have been created. Now we can create our mesh. Right click on mesh and click on compute. This will generate our mesh and it is telling us that we have total 23k cells in our mesh. Click on close. To view the mesh, click on fit all button. Switch on 
the interaction style switch you can see that the mesh has been created on our fluid domain but this is a 2d geometry that is it is just a surface in open foam even to solve 2d geometries we need a 3d cad model so we need to extrude this surface in z direction along with the mesh so that we can import it in open foam to extrude this mesh click on modification and click on extrusion click on all the arrows to select mesh one for extrusion we will extrude our mesh in z direction by 0.01 meters to view the extrusion click on preview button you can see that the extrusion is taking place with 0.01 meters in z direction click on apply and close this will create new groups of faces named as moving wall extruded and fixed walls extruded we first need to delete all the nodes in the groups right click select the nodes click on delete we even need to delete the edges because we don't need nodes and edges in open form so right click and click on delete we need the faces to define boundaries in open form we will name these faces as moving wall right click click on rename and make the name as moving wall similarly we will rename the second name and make it as fixed walls now we are ready to export our mesh to open foam right click on mesh click on export and select the unv file now we need a location where we can export our mesh you can create a new folder inside any of your drives i have come to this location and now i will create a new folder named two underscore lid driven cavity make sure that you are not using any space while giving the names of open foam case folders now we will go inside this folder and we will export our mesh in this folder go to salome and browse to the location of this folder we are now inside the location of this folder we will name the file as mesh click on save now we have mesh.unv file inside our folder but to export this mesh we first need the open foam case structure you can copy the lid driven cavity from the tutorials folder inside open foam wherever you have installed open foam you will find a tutorials folder inside it in tutorials folder go in incompressible and then go in icofoam here open the first case cavity in this we again need to go in cavity copy all the three folders and paste them inside our own case folder we now have the open foam case structure with us let me tell you in brief about the things that are there inside these folders we always need these three folders to simulate open foam cases the zero folder contains the initial boundary conditions the constant folder contains the mesh and transport properties the system folder contains the schemes, solutions, and control dict file, which are used to execute the files. We can now import the mesh by going to our terminal in Ubuntu. Now I need to first enter the location of this folder so that I can import the mesh in open form. To go to the location of this folder using the terminal, in windows i have to type cd space slash mnt slash f this will take me to the f drive of my computer cd means change directory now i need to go inside this folder and come to the location of this folder 
So to change the folder, I will type CD, then I will type 1 and if I press the tab key, it will automatically enter the name of the folder. Now I need to go inside open form folder. I will type capital O and press tab to get the name of the open form folder. Now I need to go inside 2 underscore lid driven cavity. I will press 2 and press the tab key to automatically fill the name of the folder. Press enter. We are now inside the location of this folder and now we are ready to import the mesh. To import the mesh, we need to enter a simple command of ideas UNV to foam. Space, you need to give the name of your mesh file. It is mesh.unv. Make sure that U, T and F is capital while entering this command. Press enter. You can see that we have been given end as the message. Whenever you see this message end, that means OpenFoam has successfully executed whatever command you have told it to execute. Now we can view our mesh in Paraview. Open your Paraview app and then we will open the mesh. To view the mesh first, we need a dummy file to open Paraview. So I will create a dummy file by copying any file type inside the main folder and I will rename it as case.foam. This is now a foam file which can be read by Paraview software. I will open this case.foam from Paraview. Click on file, click on open. I will now browse to this location to open case.foam. I am now inside this location. Click on case.foam, click on OK. Click on apply to view the mesh. You can see that our lid driven cavity geometry has been successfully imported in Paraview. But we can't see the mesh yet. To view the mesh, go to surface option and select surface with edges. Now you will be able to view the mesh which we had created in Salome. To solve a 2D problem in open foam, we need only one cell in the Z direction. This is how we can tell the open foam software that we do not want to simulate or solve any values in the Z direction. We will only solve all the values in X and Y direction. This is how we can define a 2D problem in open foam. Now we need to view the boundaries before we can apply the boundary conditions. You can view the boundaries separately by switching off internal mesh, switch on moving wall, click on apply. You can see that the top wall is the moving wall. Select the fixed walls, click on apply. You can see that the fixed walls are the three other walls of our enclosure. Click on default faces, click on apply. Here you can see that the front and back face of our geometry are named as default faces. We need to give empty boundary condition to the default faces that is the front face and the back face so that open foam does not solve for any values in the Z direction. It only solves for X and Y direction and hence we simulate a 2D simulation in open foam. In part 2 of this video, we will see how to set up the boundary conditions for this problem.